Hello everyone, I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain ATVMC giving you a closer look at the Qualifier Forced Air Helmet from Bell. Alright, today we're giving you a closer look at the Qualifier Forced Air Helmet coming from Bell Helmets. If you're in the market for a forced air helmet that's not going to break the bank, well, this would be a really good option. The Qualifier is going to come in sub $200, and we're going to go through and talk about the features and benefits of having a helmet built to take a forced air system. Now, we all know when you're out there having a good time in your UTVs, two things really come to mind. First, you got to have safety as priority number one, and the other is obviously you want to stay comfortable. There's a lot of people out there that like to have a full face helmet with a shield because it does a couple important things. It helps keep the dust out of your face and out of your eyes, and also in cooler temperatures, having that shield can really just help you stay warmer and help you stay more comfortable. But with a full face helmet with a shield, there are a couple drawbacks. They're not going to ventilate. So if it's not ventilating, a lot of times in those warmer conditions, passengers, what they'll do is they'll open up the helmet to get some airflow in because they're starting to get hot. But then you're letting that dust in. And also, when it comes to fogging, having ventilation going through the helmet will really help when it comes to combating fog. So what's great about this helmet, if you've never used a helmet that has a forced air system, it is a drastic improvement. So what's great about this, now keep in mind, this does not come included with a pump, but we do have this right here from Rugged Radios. This is their two-person air pump. This is sold separately, but we have it on our website. You're also gonna wanna pick up the hose that you're gonna need to connect the pump to the helmet. But once you have the system connected, you're getting continuous, positive, filtered air through the helmet. So one, it's gonna keep dust down. It's not gonna allow dust to even get into the helmet, because you can also see that you have this dust skirt that comes here included as well. This is removable, I'll show you that here in just a minute. So you got that dust skirt, so you, you're keeping the dust down, but also in those warmer temperatures, it's gonna help you stay cool. Also, it's going to help combat fogging. And in a race situation, a forced air system on a helmet, it's gonna be a must have. Now, before we dive in and talk about the features, let's just talk about fit real quick. So if you're familiar with Bell helmets, they are very comfortable. You're gonna have a removable washable liner on the inside but they do fit true to size, but remember these are an apparel item, so if you get this, if you're not happy with the size or fit, send it back to us in brand new unused condition, and we will give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. We call it our fit guarantee. So with this, first up, let's just talk about the shell construction. So with the polycarbonate shell, you're gonna be DOT certified. Now one thing I do wanna bring up is that if you are going to be using this in a race situation, very important, you just wanna check with your series that you're gonna be racing in to make sure that this helmet does meet their requirements as far as what they require to be able to use it in a race situation. So just make sure you're checking up on that. But you can see you're gonna have, again, polycarb shell, size large gonna be about three pounds or 3.7 pounds, so not too heavy at all for a polycarbonate shell, especially when you've got this big air duct on the top as well as a shield in that dust skirt. And you're going to see here that air hose. So when you have this all hooked up, you're going to have this hose connecting here right to the back. It's forcing that air in. And when you look at this duct here, it's kind of hard to see, but you do have this weather gasket of the seal around the entire piece on top. That's going to create a nice tight seal. So as that air is being forced in, it's not going to leak out. And then you have these big vents here on the top. Again, that's what's forcing that air into the helmet and down into that rider's face area. So it's a really effective system that works really well. And then you can see that you do have these big vents here on the back. So you're getting that air coming through, and this is going to allow it to escape out the back of the helmet. So that's the outside, that is the shell. Again, your visor here, you're gonna have this tab on the left side. That's gonna have multiple detents on the way up. Now, what I like about the helmets that Bell does is you have almost like a, a micro ratchet here in this mechanism. So as I'm lifting this up, you have several detents on the way up. So there's a lot of different locations that you can put that visor if you do wanna leave it cracked. Also, what I do appreciate about this helmet is the quick release system that they have with their shield. So to release it, you're just gonna pop the shield up and then you notice you got these little tabs here on the side. All you're gonna do is just press down on those and that, well, oh, let me do it one more time. That pops the shield off. So it is very fast to do. Honestly, it just takes a couple of seconds. So if you do wanna interchange shields, we have different shields available on our website. It makes it very simple to do so. Now, as I am talking about shields, to put it back in, you saw that. I literally just snap it right back in with it in the up position and it goes right back close. So very simple to do. Now, one thing I do want to point out to my left is the DLX version of this helmet. 
So I'll just point out the differences real quick. So the DLX, you'll notice it has an extra vent up here on the top, something you're not getting with the standard version. They're both gonna have the mouth vent down here at the bottom. That's gonna open and close. But with the DLX, another feature that you're getting is with their lens that comes on this helmet already. This is a transitional lens. What I mean by that is when you get into the sunlight, it will automatically darken. And then when you get out of the sunlight, maybe you're doing some night riding, it will automatically go back to clear. So you don't have to worry about changing out shields or wearing sunglasses. That's something you really don't wanna have to worry about doing. So you get the transition lens and then if you look at the side here on that profile you notice you have this little piece here so this is actually so you can run a Bluetooth comms device so you can see it'll just fit right here in the side so it's gonna be a little bit more streamlined more low profile sitting on the side of the helmet so those are the main differences so if you're gonna run a Bluetooth comms unit the DLX might be the better option for you pop that back in so that's the outside that is your shield now let's talk about this dust skirt real quick so the dust skirt is removable. The way you're gonna actually undo this, you have a zipper right here in the front. So it's just gonna unzip, but this all is just held on with this big Velcro piece that goes all the way around the entire outside of the helmet. So let me find the end here, it's right here on the back. So to take the dust skirt off, you're literally just gonna undo the Velcro. And there it is, the whole thing just comes right off. You can wash this if you want to, so very easy to do that. If we look here, there's your comfort liner. Like I mentioned, the comfort liner on the Bell helmets is very comfortable, antimicrobial. If you want to, you can pop this out, throw it in the washing machine, wash it, put it back in, you're gonna be good to go. I'm just gonna pop these out for you. All right, so there's cheek pad number one. Let me second one out here. Number two, now you are gonna have speaker pockets on the inside, you can see those right here. So again, going along with that Bluetooth comms unit, the DLX version obviously is gonna have these as well. So you can put your speakers right here if you want to. And then you're gonna have your comfort liner, I'll pop this out. All right, so there is your comfort liner. You can see you've got these big cutouts here in the top that's gonna to help with venting as well. And then when you look at the EPS liner, you can see you've got very big cutouts through the entire EPS. Again, that's gonna really help get that air coming through that air duct on top and then forcing it through the helmet and then again out the vents that you have in the back. You're also gonna to notice too what I like is in this neck roll area, you've got this little skirt here in the back. So that does a couple things. One, it's gonna really help keep that dust out like we just talked about, but also that's gonna help reduce that wind noise as well. All right, so that is it. That is the qualifier forced air helmet coming from Bell Helmets. If you have any questions or comments about these, leave those below, we'll get your questions answered. And I would love it if you have a forced air helmet, it doesn't have to be this one we just talked about today. Give us your feedback on it, what do you like about it, maybe what you don't like about it, that's gonna help other people out who are looking to possibly pick up one of these. And remember, orders over 75 bucks ship free, and to pick up yours, it is very simple, just click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. But don't forget, going along with your helmet, if you don't have it already, you gotta pick up a pump to get that air forced into the helmet. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain. We'll see you on the trails.